well, it's, a, it's another day um, that is coming to an end with black fillers. Today we we spend uh, quality time next to Iris Thompson Chapman. Iris Thompson Chapman is a relative of Joe Thompson, one of the old time black figures who I believed um, died in the early 2000s or so, um, not without passing his legacy on to a new generation. Um, Justin Robinson and Rihanna Giddens who went on to to found the Carolina Chocolate Drops which which was a, a, a milestone of, of, of folk music um, and it earned them a uh, well-deserved Grammy Award, which I think each one of the members of the band received one. Uh, and this is how generous the talent and the memory of Joe Thompson is. The men who actually found him and brought him back to prominence in the early 1970s was Keith Lornell, his name is Christopher Lornell, Professor Christopher Lornell. He is the one that found Joe Thompson and his cousin Odell played the banjo and they both made an extraordinary, extraordinary duo. Um, Odell died first, uh, he got hit by a car um, during a of his uh, fiddler festivals, I believe here in North Carolina. Uh, and then it is very sad because Joe Thompson was left alone with no one to play, according to himself, he will say. And I saw, uh, I heard him say this, at least uh, in one occasion, and I believe it was the film made by Iris Thompson Chapman. He said, I don't have anybody to play with. Um, many years ago, when I had an opportunity to make a film with um, Ismael Viñas, an intellectual and a writer uh, from Argentina, he told me the story of the last man who spoke Dalmatian and how lonely that must have been to be the last man to speak a language. Well, there's something about that in this this idea of um, of Joe Thompson not having anyone else to speak the same language, the same old fiddling language that he learned from his father and his father from his and so on, a tradition that goes back in America all the way to the late 1600s, early 1700s, as you will see in the film, as we will see in the film that we're working on, Times of uh, Advised Royalty, Williamsburg, Virginia, um, with fiddles, enslaved fiddles, fiddlers like uh, Simeon Gilead, and then two of Jefferson's enslaved children with Sally Hemings, but that's another story. The story here is the story about um, Joe Thompson. I visited his grave, paid respects, went on to see uh, the monument they did of him and Odell playing together. It's, 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 it's a pretty, pretty monument, it's well done. Um, it sits there with uh, relatively new 
common grounds, uh, city park in Mevan, where uh, they're facing a, a water fountain where tons of black and white children are playing uh, in, with the water and, and I think that that is a very happy place. I also visited his house and of course visited with Iris like I said before and learned a lot. Um, I think these folks are getting older and the ones that told the stories are not longer around and and it's good to be around to listen to some of these stories so like I said it's just another day in the life of black fillers and to wrap it all up I went to Hillsboro for a fried chicken sandwich, which I shouldn't have had, but I did anyway. Well, stay tuned. Uh, if you like old time string bands and fiddling, or if you like documentary films and documentary filmmaking, and if you like road trips, you can always subscribe here or there or there or there, I don't know where it is. And, and we'll stay in touch. Thank you and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this sunset.